Hey crafties, Laura here and I'm in my craft closet to show you a fun card you can make with the new Whiskey Business stamp set. I'm calling it the Brown Bag Whiskey Card. So out of the bag comes a tag with the whiskey decanter and your top shelf. And bonus, it folds down and fits in an envelope. So today I'm going to show you how to make the bag and the tag which if not attached to a card like this one, can also be used on its own as a party favor, a gift card holder, or maybe a mini bottle holder for a place setting. So let's get started so you can send it to your favorite whiskey lover. The supplies we're gonna use today include, of course, the Whiskey Business stamp set, uh, a little bit of crumb cake cardstock, uh, bumblebee cardstock, a bit of Whisper White, uh, your paper trimmer with score, a uh, tasteful textiles embossing folder. I'm going to use this to add a little texture to the brown bag so it looks like a bag you get from the liquor store. Uh, early espresso ink, Daffodil Delight blends, uh, a hole punch. I'm going to be using the detailed trio because this one's a really good uh, hole punch. And then um, a little bit of the Bumblebee ribbon, one of the in colors. Let's start off by making the tag. So I'm going to push this stuff to the side. So we're going to start off with a uh, bumblebee. How about I pull it out so we can look at what we made. So this tag is what we're going to be making. It is four and a quarter by three inches in bumblebee. It's one of the new in colors. And we are going to stamp our sentiment, your top shelf, with early espresso. All of the ink we're using is with the early espresso. There's other great sentiments in this set too. Straight up, you're the best. We're gonna be putting that one on the front. And let's see, that's gonna go here. And with our piece of Whisper White scrap, I'm gonna stamp out the decanter and color it in. Now to color in the uh, decanter, you know, I used the blend, which I really love for this. So you can see I kind of did like a dark around the edge and they blend together. So you, you don't even need to be all that careful. And I'm, I would never say I'm a great colorer, but these blends kind of make it easy for me. So you get the dark color of the whiskey here. Then we're going to use the light daffodil delight. Just kind of blend it together, but it still looks lighter in the center. There we go. Easy peasy. Now we're going to cut it out. I don't leave that much uh, white over the edge, but sometimes if it's there, it's okay. So let's go on and stick this down. Oh, so this crumb cake, I it was 5 eighths of an inch wide. You can see I just kind of left it long. It was just a scrap I had because I knew it'd be easier just to trim it off. So you have exactly three inches wide. And now we're going to glue down the decanter. And you can use liquid glue for this if you're more comfortable with that. I've always preferred tape runner. And for the top where I punched out a little hole, uh, I also punched out a small circle of crumb cake. Not necessary, I just want to reinforce the hole sometimes. <laughs> it honestly is not necessary, but if you do, this is a one inch circle. You can either cut it out with your scissors, or if you have an old punch, or if you have a really small die cut for a circle. There we go, where did our, there we go. We can punch out the hole. trying to center it. There we go. 
And now let's put a little bit of the bumblebee ribbon in it. So what I do to uh, kind of bookmark it around there, I fold it in half. So you have this little um, end and then I push it through. So then you have a loop on this side. And I just pull the little bunny ears through the loop. There we go. All right, there's your tag. So now we're gonna work on the bag for the tag. Now let's make the bag. So you're gonna need two pieces of uh, crumb cake. One is gonna be eight and a half by four inches, and the other is gonna be two inches by two inches. And that's just gonna be for the bottom of the bag so the tag doesn't slip out. So let's get out our scorer. And I'll write these measurements as well on the blog. But let's see, make sure you get your scorer. So the bag is going to be three inches wide so that it fits the tag. And each other increment is going to be a half inch. So we're going to start with half inch. And let's go on this side. Just, it's just easier sometimes to put it down on the half inch. Half inch and one inch. All right, so we got two half inches. So then the next piece is going to be three inches, so out to four, and then four and a half, and five, oops, it's not moving over my arm, and then out to eight. We just need to get a half inch on this side, so why don't we just do that? You can see we have two three inch pieces and a few half inches. And then for your two by two, you're just gonna score it uh, every half inch. So you want three score lines in it. And just so it uh, accordions, accordion folds the same way. There's your bag, great. Get that out of our way. So why don't we go ahead and stamp our bag now. Uh, in the bottom right hand corner of your three inch part, one of them, why don't we stamp straight up, you're the best, in early espresso again. And get up really nice. Go. And now we also need our glass of whiskey. Right above that. I'm gonna go ahead and color that in too. I'm gonna use the same marker as the dark and the light uh, daffodil delight. So I'm kind of gonna do it the same way as I did for the decanter, where it's like the dark is on the outside because that's it's harder to see through the whiskey uh, on the outside portions, and the same happens in a glass. And the stamp actually makes it really easy. You can see more. Uh, shadow lines towards the outside. So if you just color in the shadow lines with the dark Daffodil Delight. And then I'll color in with the light. Oops. I prefer to use the brush side, but if you're more comfortable with the <clears throat> smaller pen side, you go right ahead. It's a smaller, smaller stamp to begin with. Kind of blend it together. And then just do a few stripes to get the ice. All right, so we're going to want to emboss this. It's not necessary, but I think it does give the the bag a little extra tag, or a little, the bag. It gives the bag a little extra texture. There we go. I don't know how much that shows up on camera, but 
It's got a little texture. All right, so why don't we start folding it up? You may wonder why I colored uh, before I embossed. And that really is just, you don't want to try coloring over like a texture. It just sometimes doesn't um, work out quite so well. You know, the colors may bleed a little differently. Let's see, it should be more here. All right, so it's like an accordion and the extra little flap that you had at the edge, I'm just gonna grab a little tear tape, just a few inches ought to do. Put it right on it. And then fold it in so that your bag can fold flat. Ah, and the last piece is the bottom. So you have three uh, score lines in it, just accordion fold it. And I like to put the one inside, the one that goes up like a mountain, that's gonna go inside your bag. So then you're gonna put a little tear tape on your outside flaps and we're gonna glue it in. Pull one of the tear tapes off first, just to make sure I can center it right. Oops. There we go, pressing it down. Perfect, and then from inside, this could be a little tricky, so if you don't wanna do this, just pull them both off at the same time. So I'm gonna pull off the tear and tape, and then the bag can fold down right on it. And there's your bag slash party favor, and your tag fits inside of it. And there you go. So thanks so much for joining me today in Laura's Craft Closet. This is a lot of fun to make. I love this whiskey business set, and I love when it comes out of a little brown bag. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and always get the latest stamp and tips and tutorials. Happy crafting!